Hi and welcome from Davos in the Swiss mountains today. Um, today I want to talk a bit about two new products that uh, Nikon just released. It's the C30 camera and an APS-C mirrorless camera and a new telephoto lens, a 400mm f4.5. And to get this out of the way, just right here in the beginning, I did not have any of these two products in my hand. It's just I know the same specs that you can also read online. Um, what I want to do is just summarize them and give them a bit my thoughts of how I think this could be interesting or not and whether I wish that Canon and Sony would bring something similar or rather go in a different direction. And speaking of Canon, in the end I also want to mention a few things or a few rumors that popped out about the new Canon R1. <laughs> Let's start with the new lens that Nikon announced. It's a telephoto lens, it's a 400mm f4.5. So it's not one of these uh, super fast telephoto lenses, um, but that's fine because Nikon just announced like two or three months ago a 400mm 2.8 um, that also has this swap in tele-extender. So this is just a different class of lens, but even though you trade like 1.3 stops of light, it has of course the advantage that it's way cheaper. It costs around 3,200 US dollars. And maybe even more important for some people, it's also way lighter. It weighs around 1.1 kilogram. I will put the pounds here in a caption below. Um, and this is quite light. For those of you that shoot Canon, uh, the RF 100 to 500, for example, of course it's a zoom lens, so hard to compare, but I always found this to be quite light, and this is around 1.5 kilograms, so significantly heavier. And if we look at the 400 millimeter F4 from Canon with the DO technique, um, this one is around uh, 2.1 kilo, so almost twice as heavy. Of course, it's also a bit an older lens, and it's one stop uh, faster but this should just emphasize how light and also compact with 23 centimeters the Nikon 400 4.5 will be and as you might know Nikon already has three kind of lightweight compact telephoto lenses with still excellent quality uh, the 300 uh, f4 pf the 500 56 pf and then most recently the 800 f 6.3 so I think this fits in perfectly it's because I know many people that are happy with the 300 and 500 millimeter PF lenses and I think the 400 just gives a bit more reach for those that 300 millimeter is just not enough. It gives a bit of smoother background and so on. It can be combined with tele extenders. So I think it's a really nice lens and I know quite some people that would be interested in having such a lens. So let's move on to the camera. The, it's called a C30. And if we look at the price point of $700, we can already see it's rather an entry level camera. And I think there is not much point of discussing how much, how useful this would be for us wildlife photographers, because it's just the wrong camera. Um, it is more uh, created for content creators, for vloggers and so on with the flip out screen that of course we appreciate as well but is way more important for if you do, are doing vlogs and it has all the connections and ports and this and that but it, for example it lacks an um, electrical viewfinder and for handling big telephoto lenses for me this is crucial i cannot work with a flip out screen all the time from time to time i enjoy it but overall i strongly prefer the electronic viewfinder so i think this is just not the camera that is targeted to wildlife photographers i hope maybe we will see something like this in the future and finally as i mentioned before there are some new rumors about the canon r1 and basically it's just that it will be delayed until the second half of 2023 so in a year or so and i think it's not so surprising the chip sh shortage is still a thing that is there and is a problem uh, Canon still has problems delivering, for example, the R3. And of course it makes, I think, more sense to just deliver the cameras to the customers that you can right now, or to try at least to do this. Um, yeah, because everybody prefers the camera that they can shoot now than two cameras they need to wait longer. And I also hope that 
if they release it a bit later they have more time to refine it to optimize a few things so that in the end we will have an even better camera and most importantly more than just uh, an r3 with a high megapixel sensor so i'm really excited for this and yeah we can just wait so if you have thoughts about the new Nikon camera and lens, just let me know in the comments. I would be curious what you think, especially if you're from Nikon, if you are planning to buy the new lens, or if you're from Sony and Canon, would you wish for something similar or rather not? Until then, have a nice day. Bye.